Good evening, this is Tina. This is gonna be a very, very short video. We are gonna talk about uh, transcend annotation. Sometimes we don't want all the properties or instance fields in an entity to map to a column into a table. Then you can use this transcend to uh, to fulfill these kind of requirements. Let me show you an example very quick. Suppose here I have a, a, a int, which is a temp. Okay, this temp field is used uh, for something, but I don't want to this column to be stored. I don't want to this field to be a column into a database, which means this one I want to Hibernate to ignore it. And to do that, you add a transcend. When we add a transcend, and uh, when Hibernate trying to do the mapping, it won't map temp to be a column into the table generated. Okay, so let's run. Transcend means uh, when generate a table, do nothing on me. Okay, do nothing. You can, we can take a look at the create table. You can see create table, this is a table, and uh, one, two, three, four, five fields. And you can see there's no temp fields, right? And when we go here, refresh, and uh, we run one more time, you didn't see the temp fields. But if I don't have this one, then you will have the temp field, uh, sorry, temp column in the table. Okay, so that's it for the transcend. And uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.